Republican Malcolm Turnbull, 63, has said the issue of the British monarch being the country's head of state is likely to come to the fore when Queen Elizabeth's reign comes to an end. In a thinly veiled attack on the heir to the throne he Liberal Party leader said during a speech in Sydney on New Year's Day, I don't think it will become a frontline issue before then, Mr Turnbull said, I think the first thing that you would need to do is to have an honest open discussion about how a president would be elected. And, whether the president would be chosen by parliament in a bipartisan two-thirds majority, as proposed in 99, or directly elected, that is the rock on which the referendum foundered in 99. You've got to have that discussion and you know it may be that a plebiscite, maybe even a postal survey given the success of the marriage postal survey, could be one way to deal with that, but that issue needs to be debated and resolved and then of course the fundamental question, then you've got to put up an amendment to the constitution which proposes a president to replace the Queen as head of state and then it's up to the Australian people to decide, this is not a change that Parliament can make and Australians have shown themselves to be very conservative when it comes to constitutional change, he added. We all say long live the Queen with great sincerity and love. A referendum held in Australia in 1999 saw a majority of Australians wanting to keep the Queen with 54.87% of the vote. During the campaign Mr Turnbull had campaigned for the creation of a republic. Mr Turnbull said if the issue was reactivated again an open discussion about how a president would be elected was necessary. In the campaign he indicated there should be a postal vote on the issue. Mr Turnbull has already come under fire recently from Australia's former Prime Minister Paul Keating who attacked the Prime Minister for not pushing the Republican issue whilst in power. Mr Keating said, how utterly absurd that we have to borrow the monarch of another country, how pathetic, he told the Australian. He has little or no policy ambition and commensurably little imagination, no system, of prevailing beliefs. Was, his republicanism, just Malcolm being another chameleon during another chameleon act as he has on so many other things, before meeting the Queen at Buckingham Palace last July, Mr Turnbull said, most Australian Republicans are Elizabethans as well. Another former Prime Minister Tony Abbott, a keen supporter of the monarchy, took to Twitter to defend the Queen. He wrote, we don't need to dump the Queen to be a great country, Republicans will never win by running Australia down. The latest opinion poll shows a narrow majority of Australians back the nation becoming a republic. A news poll in August showed 51% supported the change, while 38% opposed it and another 11% are undecided. Prince Charles and Camilla met Mr Turnbull during a visit to Australia in 2015. Thank you for watching.